Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. So today I am going to show you a really cool thermal camera. I often power things up with the thermal camera on it because I'm, well, I hate to have things blow up in my face. I like to watch the temperatures rise and make sure things don't take off. As a power supply engineer, uh, think the parts are big and things heat up and your short circuit testing um, overload testing, over voltage testing. Um, it's nice to have a thermal camera. Back in the day, I don't know, 15 years ago, I think I bought the first one, or at least my company did, and it was, I believe, 17 grand on sale. So this thing is just barely over 400 bucks. I'm going to show you where to buy it, and I just be using it. It's really cool. Has, it's really simple to use um, if you never used one before. Um, has a regular camera and a thermal camera. So when you're using it, I get off that image there. Um, so, okay. It's maybe, I don't know. Let's see if we can do this. There's these buttons here. Let me see if I can. There's these buttons here, and, and you can push to show how much of the image or how much of the thermal image you want. Like, and it goes, I think, in 25% increment. So you can go to kind of like a photograph and then put more. So you can go from. You can go from kind of a photograph image. Can you? I hope you can see that. You can overlay the temperature. That's 25%. Then you click one more. That's 50, and that's 75. And then that's all temperature mostly. And then you go back to the mostly camera. Yeah, that's pretty much all camera. So it's really cool. Sometimes when you're looking at things, it's kind of hard to tell what you're looking at. So. It's good to have the camera on there so you can make out an image besides what's getting hot. Right. Really cool meter. Just a quick video. Just wanted to show you how cool this is. If you're thinking about getting one, I highly recommend this one. Um, I did a lot of research. You can do your own, but um, yeah, this has been great. I like it. Hey guys, okay, I don't know if you could see, but there's two floating markers. One that finds the coldest spot, and it's telling you the temperature in Celsius, Fahrenheit, whatever you like. The other one tells you the hottest spot. Those two markers are jumping around the screen trying to find those two things, cold and hot. And then there's the center one. And then up here in the corner, there's a repeat of the second or the center one in larger... Uh, digit and a larger character and I don't know if you can select which temperature that you want that to show I imagine you can I haven't barely gone through any of the menu yet it was so easy to use I just picked up started using that um, the button here on the side you push that to take the picture there's a charging port on this side this little cute little smile lantern came with it it just pops right out so um, if you want to put it on there so you don't drop it or whatever, you know, you can click it on and I um, guess you could probably put this on a work spot or something, pop it off when you want to use it. Um, select enter button, um, the little the little thumb wheel kind of thing um, here it has a push button plus the four arrows and the menu and the on off button here. And it times out, you can um, set your timeout that you want. On the top of the screen, it shows your battery and your emissivity uh, selection too. If you're taking readings off things that are shiny or reflective, that's what that setting's for, is to help you get better readings. Um, and if you've ever taken temperature off of, say, a shiny transistor, um, something, you know, metal, uh, that you think you can't get a good reading on, just put a piece of black electrician's tape on. That works great. So I'm going to give a link to this down below. Um, 
where you can find it on Amazon. Um, even if you don't buy this, you buy something else that helps me out. I appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Thanks, guys.